Hey guys, I'm set up here in Tampa, Florida at the Super Show with a knockout show coach. I have Coach 1771. It's a 2023 model. Awesome paint job, awesome interior. Let me show you this thing. I really like the black accents on this coach. All the places that normally have chrome and polished stainless are black. Great use of metallic colors in here. Both the uh, the dark reds and the silvers are metallic. Really makes the paint job pop. The bright red pinstripes do too. And the drop shadowing there as the uh, colors go over each other. I think that looks really cool. And the black tail lights look awesome too. Here in the engine bay, we have a X15 high performance Cummins engine. It's 605 horsepower and 1950 pounds of torque. It's trimmed out beautifully with a lot of polished stainless on the floor of the engine bay. It has a 25,000 pound towing capacity with both electric and air trailer hookup for the brakes. This is an air hose reel that goes through an air doubler so you can pump 130 PSI. This side engine access is also trimmed out very nicely. It has a pressure washer in here with hose storage and that's designed for the hose to come completely off and then it hooks up to quick disconnects at under the front and rear bumpers so you don't have to drag it down the side of the coach and risk a scratch it's it's really a nice setup we also set the pressure washer up with a little Schrader valve so you can run the air hose over and blow all the water out when you're driving in sub freezing temperatures and there are two deionized water uh, filters so that you can rinse the coach spot free. I think the black wheels look really cool on this paint job. These are the house batteries. There are six AGM 8D sized batteries for the house. This is the passenger side fuel. It's 205 gallons of fuel. The uh, black sheet hanging there is something our upholstery shop makes that keeps the fuel from dripping onto your polished stainless tank. The main fuel fill and the DEF are on the other side. We'll look at that here in a second. This is a 50 inch television on a powered arm. It swings out to your desired viewing angle. And then behind that are the uh, holding tanks, pumps, filters, and aqua hot. This bay is the electronics bay. It has the new old N1 system in it, the inverters, and the 110 volt circuit breakers, and also the uh, solenoids that control inflation and deflation of the seals. This little uh, tray here in the center is a nice storage area. It slides out and lifts off so that you can lie down on the platform and slide back in if you need to check those breakers. The next two bays are the pass-through storage bays. They have uh, the optional tall dividers on them that keeps things from, from being able to fall over while you travel. There's a number of options there. You, you can have the shorter, you can have them, the box, I mean the sh shorter or not there at all. You can have the fronts hinged down, but these are roughly four feet wide, 30 inches tall, and go all the way through to the other side of the coach. And then this front bay 
has a freezer refrigerator combination. It's sectioned into two and you can turn the compartments up or down separately so that you can have a refrigerator and a freezer on the same unit. There's storage over on the other side. Up here under the front cap is where we mount the generator. It's a 20 kilowatt four-cylinder turbocharged unit. Uh, it rides on its own airbags so that it doesn't vibrate the coach. It has its own fire suppression system and is just a bulletproof unit. This bay is for the chassis fuse box, which is the large black box there on the right. There are two air compressors in there that supply the air for the leveling, uh, slide seals, entry door and pocket doors. It's very important, that's why there's two of them. There's a primary and a backup, so if one fails, you can switch over and use the other. Here's the other side of the two pass-through storage bays. These are remote controlled and they'll come out about two-thirds of the width of the coach, both directions. This bay is for the generator cooling system. The generator's in an airtight box, so we remote mount the radiator and put a fan on it and pump the cold water to it. The hose with the orange cap on the end of it is extra sewer hose. That gives you about 20 feet of extra sewer hose on top of the 20 feet that's built in. And then the blue canisters on the right are the uh, deionized water filters for the pressure washer. This is the plumbing bay. It has a hand wash area. It has 20 feet of retractable sewer hose. That stays attached to the coach so you don't have to rinse it and find a place to store it. It's got 25 feet of water hose on a power reel. There's the monitor panel that allows you to check on and control all of the plumbing functions. And that's next to the manifold system that allows you to shut off anything inside the the coach and still use the rest of it if you have a leak. This is the primary water pump. It's a 110 volt head hunter. It'll make 60 PSI simultaneously to every faucet in the coach. And then there's a backup water pump up here on the wall. That's a 12 volt. It works very well if you're in a situation where you're dry camping. It supplies enough pressure to run everything, but it won't run through near as much water. This little black weight down here in the lower right is the uh, uh, weight that holds the sewer hose down in the hole so that it can't come out when you dump. And then you have the fuel tank and the DEF tank. You have 205 gallons of fuel and 20 gallons of DEF. And again, this is a little bib so they won't drip on the polished stainless.
This is a really great floor plan. It has our retractable dinette. This is motorized. It comes out about a foot and then you can put in bolsters in the seats and a leaf in the table and very easily seat four people. The little saddle on this ottoman comes off and it goes across the end and it expands the seating further. This couch is a regular sleeper couch, hide-a-bed style, and it has recliners built into the front of it, which is somewhat unique. I haven't seen a whole lot of those before. This is a 75-inch television built into the wall, and um, it, it's the latest in, in a set of ideas about how to deal with getting a big television directly across from the recliners. We do a lot of projectors up here. This is another idea. What's cool about this is it, it's uh, obviously a huge high definition television. You can watch it right in the middle of the day, unlike the projectors. But it also has a window function that allows you to, through the use of a camera built into the wall, allows you to see what's happening outside. That is really neat, and it also obviously works when the shades are down, so no one can see in, but you can see outside of the coach. Then we have our standard 49-inch television in the front overhead. Both the driver and passenger seat can be rotated to face the seating area. The best dash in the industry here, two 15-inch monitors, an iPad, two Garmin GPS, gorgeous carbon fiber trim. really like the waterfall edge on the countertops in this coach. It has just over eight feet of counter space, which is really nice in a high-end coach. I'll show you what the storage looks like. Nice overhead storage over the recliners here. Then back behind the recliners, we have wine bottle storage on the left side here, and storage over here as well. This countertop that's built into the wall here folds out to make a, a table for the recliners. I just put the driver's console in there to keep it out of the way while I'm filming this video. Uh, then there's trash can storage with cleaning supplies behind it. Lots of drawer space. Got little flat drawers for cookware. There's the uh, dishwasher. And then three drawers over here for pots, pans, dishes, and silverware and cookware. This is the first of two big pantries. It's got uh, adjustable shelves in it. And over here under the bar is storage up above, bottle storage down below, and a built-in ice maker. And then as always there's storage under the dinettes. Here are the other two pantries. One is a slide out with adjustable shelves and the other has adjustable shelves. And 
and that's directly behind the refrigerator. This is a GE monogram. It has an ice drawer there in the center, and then this bottom drawer can be turned up and used as a refrigerator or down and used as a freezer. Half bath is really pretty. These are bidet toilets in both spots. There's storage behind these mirrors and behind these mirrors. And some really nice looking backlit agate countertops. And back here in the master bedroom, we have another of those televisions I told you about up front. There are closets on either side of the big television. Lots of drawers down below. This coach has just over 11 feet of hanging and 17 drawers back here. This is a king size bed with nightstands on both sides. A little unusual, has a ceiling fan back here. We have some custom artwork on either side of the master bath pocket door. And the door itself is really pretty also. And check out this master bathroom. It's got the underlid agate countertops also. Lots of storage. This is all hanging space back here. Heated towel bar with storage overhead. This is another bidet toilet. And a gorgeous shower. Just on the right, when you come into the master bath, is the washer and dryer. It's a stacked unit wired to 220, so it works like it should. It has retractable doors, so they're out of the way on laundry day. And it is right next to the laundry hamper. There's several drawers in this vanity. And then great storage back behind it. And here's the main closet area. It's lined in cedar. It also has retractable doors that make loading way much easier. Great drawer space. Storage over the heated towel bar.
this video has been Coach 1771. It's a 2023 model Newell Show Coach. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. And down here on the bottom, there is an email address that you can use to get in touch with me if you'd like to inquire about any of our coaches. And there's also a website where I have other videos. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you guys next time.